Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Acacia and today I've been seeing a lot of videos on this and uh, whatnot so I give this um, credit to um, Wonderless um, Witch um, Coven. Um, she was talking about and I'll link her um, channel down below so you can check it out in the um, in the video. Um, and um, I'm also going to probably tag her so she could also see um, my little tablet altar. But first off, I want to show you guys my cabinet altar. As you guys can see, I've shown this before. This is my um, altar. It's mostly um, dedicated to my Orisha um, Yemaya, which I'm probably will be doing a video on very soon. I just haven't gotten around to it. But as you can see, I got mostly blue stuff for her um, to represent the ocean and everything. Um, I got the blue glass. I got some um, ocean water um, that I have gotten from my local um, beach. Finally got some real sea water. Um, I have some shrimp juice with some sand in a little cup as well. Okay, again, again, I got some ocean water that I got straight from the source, the ocean. Um, I got some offering for her of wine. I have some seashells. Um, she loves her favorite plant is um, seaweed. So I got some roasted seaweeds. I got seaweed here. And some seaweed here that I got from my local 99 cent store. Or if you have a Dollar Tree, you could see if you can these at the Dollar Tree. They come in different um, flavors. Um, this is teriyaki, and I got roasted. Um, I got some um, wines here for her that um, she likes. Um, I'm going to put some in the cup. I have some selenite, um, I have a blue candle for her to represent her, a blue tea light, and the scent is ocean um, breeze, it smells so good. And of course I got some sea salt and whatnot to represent her as well, and some moss agate stone that I've shown you guys in my previous video with the hall holes. Some moss agate for her as well. Oops. It's knocking stuff over. So you could do altars in uh, many ways. Um as um Wanderlust Witch had mentioned and like I said I will I'll do that later. As um, I will link her uh, the videos, a couple of her videos down below, so you can check her out. How she talks about altars and how people would want to share them, how they not. I personally don't have a problem sharing my altar, um, simply for the fact that I know there's newbies out there um, that um, might have some kind of ideas. And I don't mind people using ideas um, out there. Um, mine currently is the reason why mine is in a cabinet is that my daughter and I um, share different beliefs. And there's times she feels uncomfortable with my altar being out. Plus the fact that I have very little privacy. So I don't want somebody to come in here and be nosy. And be like, oh, what's this? And touching stuff that they don't need to be touched. Because I had it out before. And I had family members like my grandma, my mom, my sister, um, my uncles and people like that. Come in and touch my stuff. And I just not, I'm, I don't, I'm not feeling that. So that's the reason why I have it in the, in the cabinet. Um, for, it's for that reason. 
Um, but other than that, this is some ways you could do it. Um, other ways that she have also mentioned as well as you can also have a simple traveling altar. Um, like I will put in her, like I will post her videos down. Some of her videos show that you can have a big shoe box or like a boot box where your boots come in. You can make that as a, um, a simple little, um, hideaway altar that you could take out when you're undercover in a broom closet, as we call it, pagan. Or again, if you have like a little cabinet or a closet, you could also do it like that as well. Um, like I said, if you have like, if you buy yourself some boots, you know how big those boot boxes are. You could decorate it, make it your own. Um, and you could put little knickknacks in there, like your crystals, your candles, which is like some of these sizes. By the way, I practice hoodoo. So, Sandrian. So that's why you see like the saint candles. Um, for that. <coughs> um, so you could get like a boot box. Um, one of those boxes, like I said, you put your boots in. Um, you can carry like these type of size candles. Tea lights, like I have here. Um, tea candles. Um, if you can't burn candles, there are the LED, um, battery operated candles that you can use as well as either this size or a smaller size. I may have some here. Um, but there's those you could use as well. Um, if you're not allowed to burn candles. Um, like here I have my lights. They're not colored lights. They're clear white lights that I use to light up my altar when I can't use candles. Um, to bring the brightness out. Um, so there's some of those. Um, I believe she mentioned you could put your altar in a drawer. Um, you do like a have like a one specific drawer of your dresser as your altar um stuff that you could just briefly bring out um and whatnot or you could just simply um use like myself i'm doing saturn which is um connected to um catholic saints and whatnot um which i practice with your and what have you and i will do another video about um, what is Santa Teria and what are the Orishas and why are they connected to whatnot, which is the part of the series of what I'm doing each Orishas because they're connected to um, the saints of the Catholic saints. But that's all another video there. Um, this video is just supposed to be about different type of altars. So um, there's other altars, like I said, traveling box, traveling altars, or um hidden away type of tuck away altars depending on where you live if you live with a family member that are of christian based belief um like i say you could put it in a closet cabinet um you could put it in a tuck away in a drawer um you could put it in a shoe box boot box or it's a simple pencil box that's how i have what might have mine in a pencil box would be nice you could put it in like a tin. This one is dirty, but I'm gonna clean it. But tin like this, and you just decorate it any way you want. You could put it like in a simple little small tin. She also brought up you could use it, even use a little Altoy tin um, to even have a small version of it. Um, if you're practicing tarot, um, you don't have to technically use a real tarot card. Um, you can also use regular, um, deck cards, playing cards. Um, I wish I had mine out, but I have playing cards that you can, I use as, um, tarot sometimes. You could, um, put that in your traveling box, in your traveling altar as well. Or you could just simply just carry them around with you. People won't even know the difference. They'll just say, oh, she's just carrying playing cards. Um, if you're into divination, divination. Um, there's other things, and I will get more in depth with, um, divination, different types of divinations that you could do, um, low key. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. 
So back to my little box. This is my traveling altar. Yes, it's a regular pencil box. And like I say, you can use any type of box. Like I say, I can use that tin box. You can use like a little toolbox. Um, I have another box up here. But you could use any type of box. I choose to use this um, pencil box. And in my um, box that I have are the tools. Let me show you. Let me cut you down and show you. There you go. Oops, move this out of the way. Move my table a little closer. Move this. I got a bunch of stuff under my little working witchy table. Now I need to put away. My little messy area corner. In the messy corner. That's why I have a blanket up to kind of cover it up a little bit here. Oh, and I'm going to show you another one that you can use as well as your um, little traveling altar. Let's try to move this up a little bit so you guys can see. I got so much stuff on my little table. There we go. So, I'm going to bring my little table up to where you guys can see it. So, you could also use something like this, a small one. Um, this one has a pen and some little stuff in here. But you can use this as well as your little traveling altar, little tins that have like little candies or whatever. So that could be used as well. Put this pin up in here. And put that in here real quick too. So now I get to show you what's in my... cloth on here now I get to show you what's in my box so I got a little pepper shaker and you could get any type of chili pepper from anywhere this just happens to be from a pizza place um, chili is always good for removing things and making things hot so I have this in there I have um, high John root in there, um, courtesy of my witchy mom. I have a pen. You might want to write some stuff down. Write your your petition down. I have um, paper bags. You can use regular brown paper bags. Uh, make sure they're virgin paper bags, so that way. Um, <coughs> You won't be tanking whoever else has touched it. But use, make sure you get some that's already bagged up. So I got this with a pin. I have my oil. My uh, Morgana oil. I have a lighter. Or you can use matches. I have my plastic knife. If I need to do some carving in things. I have a little stick for lighting stuff. And then I have a small one within the, my box. <coughs> which have my most important oils, which is shut your mouth. Um, I have some thread, some needle. Of course, I have this to protect my thumb. My pendulum. 
probably my divination, divination. Some pins in a little jar. Okay, and then I have some more thread. I have black thread with um, pins. A little scissors to help cut the pins. I have some herbs, a little bit of herbs in here, some more herbs, and I have white thread as well, which I could probably put right here to make it more, make more room. So these are just also little things I have. This was also within this to make it more organized. So you could do have little ways of doing your own little traveling altar or hidden altar, um, however you want to look at it. Um, the one thing I do not have in here that I should have put in here was one of my tea lights. And I think I am going to do that. Um, I need to do that. Put one of my tea lights in here. But, um, so yeah, this is another way of doing your traveling altar. Um, and then, like I said, there's many ways you could do, do one. Um, you just have to choose how you want to do it. The way you feel comfortable doing your own traveling altar. Um, everybody's different when it comes to making their traveling altars or type different types of altars. Um, it's just, it's all up to you and what you feel right about how, how it feels to you. Because everybody does things differently. In my case, I completely forgot to put a tea light in here, which I need to do as soon as I get off of here. Um, so, um, that's pretty much how that works. And that's pretty much how you do a um, little traveling altar and using different types of stuff um, when it comes to doing traveling altars. So, um, I hope that helped you guys out. I hope that um, that was helpful in a way that you guys would um, need. Um, like I said, do what makes you feel comfortable when you make your alt your traveling altar um, on your size, uh, the size you feel comfortable with. Like I said, tin can, uh, pencil box, even a small little kit, um, sewing kit box. Um, make it your own. Um, do what you feel comfortable doing. Um, I will be doing a video uh, as soon as I'm done with my Yamaya video. I keep saying I'm going to do it, and I keep saying it on every video I do so I can go back and be like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to be doing that video, duh. Um, I will definitely be doing a, um, I will be doing different videos about, um, just different videos on stuff like that. So, I hope this was helpful. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Please like, subscribe, and share. Um, comment down below, um, and tell me a little bit about your altar, whether it be traveling, room closet, um, what have you. And, um, that's pretty much it. So, I will be tagging, or I should say, yeah, tagging, um, and putting her videos, the videos I'm talking about in the description. <laughs> So you guys could go check her videos out. She's super awesome. I totally love watching her. Um, she has wonderful ideas. Um, very soft spoken. Um, and I really like um, Wonderlust. She's really awesome. Um, her videos are awesome. It's very soothing. 
and it's really good to know and learn things from each other so please check her videos out you will not be disappointed <coughs> so <coughs> excuse me with that being said um may you guys have a wonderful day evening um morning afternoon what have you um bright blessings namaste um merry meet near merry part and um I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, blessed be. Bye.